All right, so we've all procrastinated one time in our life, whether it's just um, studying for like a, a test or a project or doing homework. So my quote is, um, the best preparation for tomorrow is to do today's work superbly well. So um, about me, I've, like I'm the biggest procrastinator ever. Like, um, one time during like a test, I was gonna say, for a philosophy test, I was gonna be like, okay, I'll study tomorrow. And then like tomorrow um, came, I'll study to later, and then like later it came, and then like before, like a couple days before um, the test started, or the test was, that's when I just like rushed it like that. I was trying to study, try to gather as much information I can. And I thought I was gonna flunk it, um, or like fail it uh, when the test came by. So when I took the test, um, I was kind of like kind of guessing, but I kind of somewhat knew what it was about. And so after the test, I was like, ah, oh, I'm gonna fail this test big time. Um, but then the next day, when the teacher gave us the, the Scantron back, I, I got a B and I was like, what? Can I just pass it? So that's like one times in a hundred that will ever happen to me. So, <laughs> um, for essays, like, I'll start on an essay and I'll have the title and I'll have like um, my name and everything, and then I'll have the title, I'll think about it, and I'll be like, all right, I'm gonna get something to eat, try to think about it, and then by that time, I come across. <laughs> And then later on, I'm like watching TV, and then after that, I'm like, all right, I got, a, I got an idea, I got a, uh, something to write. So I got like two sentences down, and after that, I'm like watching YouTube videos. <laughs> and then after that, I'm like, all right, I got I to gotta, uh, do this real quick, I got to keep doing this. So um, yeah, I'm writing down like uh, a paragraph, I got a paragraph down, and by that time, it's like 11 o'clock at night, and I'm falling asleep. <laughs> I'm like, all right, I'll do it tomorrow, whatever. And so yeah. Um, so after, I had to just rush that essay because it was actually, um, after that next day, it was um, due the day after. So I was just rushing in. I was like, I could have done better if I actually took the time to do it. So um, the yeah, moral of the story is just, um, just take the time because if you can do stuff beforehand, um, you'll find like errors you can just easily correct. and Yeah. sign it for you. And now you can sell it on eBay. All right, James, um, I thought you had a reasonable statement to get our attention and you had a good transition to what the topic was. You got a pretty solid uh, thesis statement. There's no preview of what you're going to talk about. There's no real structure in what you're going to discuss. You get started on the personal example, which is it's fine. And I like the fact that you've got a lot of details that you can throw into the personal example. You make it interesting. Uh, people can relate to what you're talking about. Everybody kind of enjoys some of the side trips that you take when you're talking about what you do to delay or avoid having to do any work. I'm sure everybody who 
who's ever studied at their desk with the computer near them knows exactly all the temptations that are in front of them. Maybe I'll get on uh, YouTube, maybe I'll check out my Facebook, uh, let's uh, go to Instagram or Pinterest, you know, there are a thousand distractions out there, so I think everybody can relate to that. And you talked about that pretty well, but that's basically all you've got for this speech. And so I, I like the idea that you've got that, but you need to have some other material for it to develop a little bit more. On your presentation, your voice is uh, projecting pretty well. I think you've got good variety in your voice. In fact, I think you kind of get the humorous tone into your speech so that we know that you are kind of being a little bit self-depreciating in the speech, and that, and that sells the idea uh, effectively. Uh, gestures are okay. There's nothing that's problematic. Your facial expressions. Now, your audience contact, you probably think of yourself as looking up the whole time you're speaking, and you usually are looking up, but you're never looking at us. When you look back at the speech, watch the speech, you're, you're kind of looking at the side. Sometimes your eyes are going up. Sometimes they're going down. Your face is up, but you're not really engaging people while you're talking. You're just talking in front of us and uh, instead of to us, and that, I think, is a little bit problematic. That and the fact that your exit basically is just, you know, the porky pig exit, that, you know, that's it. Uh, those are the giveaways on your anxiety issues. So those would be things that you'd want to work on. All right. Thank you.